Hey guys, I'm going to go over um, how do you add leaves to the tree generator tool in 3D Coat. This isn't the, going to be the greatest way to do it, but this is just one way to do it where you can create leaves in a painterly style. So let's start off by dropping down a tree. And that may be a little bit too complex. Why don't we just go ahead and reduce it just a little bit. There, something like that would be good. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a layer and name it leaves. And then I went ahead and created my own preset brush. That's a, a tree generator or a um, leaf generator. And I'm basically just taking a 3D leaf, a very simple one that I've modeled, and then um, I apply that to my uh, custom brush. And then all you need to do is select the material, and I just went ahead and created a custom one. There we go. And, and this material kind of has like a little bit of variation in the leaves. So now I'll just start um, brushing over the, the tree and the leaves are just really going to stick onto the geometry. Kind of gives a nice painterly, very loose feel to it. So it doesn't feel like I'm just putting the stamping like the same leaf over and over. It feels very, very, uh, to me, very painterly. And I can build it up and I can go sparse. And the nice thing about this is since I'm creating this on its own layer, I can make it as busy as I want. I can start simplifying later. Definitely not the most efficient way to do this for sure. Um, but this is actually works really well if you want to do some concept art. So you can just drop down your tree and you can just start uh, quickly throwing down some um, quick looks, you know. Just want to make sure that I rotate the tree around and if I've missed um, some of these branches, I'll just get it from uh, the different angles. I'm not really too worried about how much um, how much leaves I'm putting in right now because um, what I can do is vary the size of the brush. I can make the brush larger and I'll, I'll have larger leaves, but those are great when I want to fill in some of the gaps quickly. I just increased the size of the brush a little bit to help fill in some of this um, empty space. There we go, that's that's not bad. We'll go ahead and just render it just to get a check on that. And you can see like the material's got a little bit of variation in it. Um, and the, the leaves, it's really hard to distinguish like the real shape of it because it's so loose. It's almost painterly um, that I think it, it actually does work, especially if you're just gonna throw that out in the distance. Okay, let's go back and I'm going to add another layer for another set of leaves. And this time I'm going to change the shader. Just a little bit of a different color for variety and just kind of just splat that around a little bit. Okay, 
I don't need a lot and I'll vary the brush too. So that way I'll make it smaller like I just did here and then start um, kind of painting that onto those thinner branches that are, that are sticking out of the, the tree. And then let's take another look at the render. And now we have a little bit more variation in the coloring of those leaves. Well, anyway, this is just kind of a quick technique that I was playing around with, tr just trying to make use of the trees. You can switch your um, HDR map for your lighting and kind of just play around with different scenarios. Um, but in any case, hopefully you found this useful and um, yeah, give it a try and, and see, if, uh, see if it works for you.